Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing so-called long-term residence visas or LTR visas. Let's say this out of the gate. I know those who watch this channel rather frequently that you're probably thinking I'm a broken record. We're not, like, strictly speaking, this LTR moniker, this long-term residence visa appellation, this label has been it's, it's something of a misnomer because these aren't permanent residents. Permanent residence is its own thing. We've discussed it on other videos on this channel. These are simply sort of long stay visas. So they may have like a 10 year validity, but they are not in the traditional sense residents in that once you get them, you can just be here indefinitely. You still have to deal with things. Looks like you're still gonna have to deal with things under non-immigrant rubric. But um, the reason I made this video is I've had some feedback from folks asking if this stuff is still moving ahead. And, and, you know, I got some insight when I was reading a recent article from the Bangkok Post, bangkokpost.com. Article is titled, Every Cloud Has a Silver Lining. Quoting directly, in order to tap, his, tap this potential segment, the Thai government rolled out a visa policy for 10-year long-term residents targeting, quote-unquote, high potential foreign groups, including retirees that can invest and live in Thailand, said Tourism Authority of Thailand, Governor Yutasak Supasorn. Quoting further, earlier in May, the visa scheme received cabinet approval to reduce the fee, visa fee by half to 50,000 baht from 100,000 baht. And to clarify, to the best of my knowledge, the visa scheme itself has not been rolled out. They've just, they just, the most recent announcement is that they tinkered with the pricing scheme. Also note, and I made other videos on this, even though the application fee is changing from 100,000 to 50,000 baht, the financial requirements associated with these visas are substantial. Uh, and, and it looks like you're gonna have to prove up as well that you meet these financial criteria and that will be something of a substantial hurdle to overcome as well. Quoting further, the TAT is continuing to work to attract active senior tourists with higher spending power for longer stays using the government's visa perks said Mr. Yutasak. And yeah, I think that's a fair statement. Uh, I think the Thai government is very keen to bring in retirees. I think these, they're very keen to retain retirees because you know, tax money is an issue right now. You know, in the past two years, we've seen real hits to the Thai economy, especially the tourism sector. And quite frankly, I think that the retirement, the retiree sector has been the one thing perhaps keeping that segment of the GDP on, on a certain level of life support because they've been here continuously, in some cases, spending money and just living their lives. And this has brought positive benefits to Thailand. So again, something to think about. Yeah, do I think Thailand, the, you know, the Thai immigration policy apparatus is keen to retain and get more retirees into the kingdom? Yes, most assuredly, I think that's the case.